Today, grade four, we will be reviewing the topic place value. Do you remember that whole numbers can go way up to the millionth place? Yes, every number has a particular position on the place value chart. That is why we say place value is simply the value represented by a digit in a number on the basis of its position. Let's look at our place value chart. On our place value chart, we have these positions. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Let's examine the number 364. Look closely. What place is the blue digit in this number in? If you guessed tens, you are correct. The digit six is in the tens place. What is the value of the three in this number? If you guessed 300, you are correct. The place is always the position. Is it in the ones place? Is it in the tens place? Is it in the hundreds place? What about the thousands? Or is it in the ten thousands? What about the hundred thousands? Or is it in the millions place? It's always the position. When we talk about value, it is how much a number is worth. So the three in this number is worth 300. In place value, a period is each group of three digits separated by a space. Let's look at our place value chart once more. Ones, tens, hundreds are in the units of ones period. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands belong to the thousands period. And millions belong to the millions period. The period of numbers are similar to your last name. Let's look at the digits three, six, four. What period are those numbers in? Yes, those numbers are in the units period. Do you know that a number can be written four ways? Yes. Numbers can be written in standard form. When we write a number in standard form, we simply write the digits. Let's look at our example. In this example, I have the number 2,586,000. A second way of writing numbers is by writing it using expanded form. When we write using expanded form, we write the number showing the value of each digit. In this example, you will notice that I wrote 2 million plus 500,000 plus 80,000 plus 7,000 plus 200 plus 50 plus 6.
A third form of writing numbers is using word form. When we write in word form, we simply write all the numbers out in words. In this example, you will notice that I wrote 2,587,256 all in words. The final way of writing numbers is in short word form. When we write in this form, we simply write the number followed by the period it represents. So you will notice I wrote 2,587,256. Whenever you write in short word form, you do not have to include the words units or wants. Let's test your knowledge. Can you figure out the correct form in which these numbers are written below? If you guessed number one was written in expanded form, you are correct. This example shows that the number has been written according to the value of each digit. If you guessed that the second number is showing that this number is written in standard form, you are correct. This example shows that this number has been written out only in digits. The third example was written only using words. So if you guess that this box was written in word form, you are 100% correct. The last box is showing the number along with its period. So this number was written in short word form. If you've guessed them all correctly, you're on the right track of identifying the four ways in which a number could be written. Thank you for your attention. Note that the resources used in this lesson came from the Bahamas Primary Mathematics Curriculum and the Bahamas Primary Mathematics Workbook, pages 5, 7, and 9.